Then I, who's in the who? Ain't no more looking, tell me, babe, who's in the who? Who's zooming who? Who's zooming who? Think I'm going to zoom in my babe. Hey everybody, it's Jay Bowling coming at you with another video. So I'm back in Illinois. You know, I'm not in Chicago. I'm in one of the Chicago suburbs. But basically, I'm back anyway. And you know, I really wasn't doing videos down there because where my grandmother stayed at, um, she's like in the middle of nowhere. And, you know, like her cow did all lived in like the middle of nowhere. That's where she lived at. And <laughs> the uh, Wi-Fi we got was like really weak and low. And it took like days and days to like do a video while I was there. So... That's why I really haven't been keeping up with doing videos. But I am back. And I think I won't be doing the basketball wise review because, you know, them fools is back. But anyway, that's not why I'm here. I'm here with a topic about some of you, you baby mamas that's out here. Um, you know, I seen the uh, status the other day on Facebook. And somebody put up, you know, how is that you got on the bus with like three bags full of Target stuff and weave down your back and your child was in, your child's head was in two Afro Puffs. Let me tell y'all something. I see this all the goddamn time on the bus. Kills me. Bitches be having their damn nails done, nails be painted, face makeup be painted, MAC makeup, all types of whoever else makeup, cover girl looking type bitches, weave down their backs. Okay, Malaysian, Indian, inversion, weave down to their damn backs. And then you look over at their child, and their child look like, ooh, god damn it. Like, really, their child be looking a hot ass and ass. Their child be looking like Seely from Color Purple. But your ass look like Rihanna on the damn cover girl uh, on photo shoot. Like, you hoes. See, and that's what y'all like. It be you hoes. Y'all be out here fucking for, fucking for handbags and purses. And well, purses, handbag, handbags, and weaves, and sew ins, and all the rest of this stuff, and designer shoes, but y'all can't even get y'all child looking right. You hoes be getting on my goddamn nerves. There is no way in the world, you bitches, ooh, there is no way in the world that your child should be going to school, nappy head, hair all over the place, hair ain't ever done, hair always in some raggedy ass ponytail. Okay, one of them ponytails that stop to like right here. Your child hair, at least get your goddamn child hair braided. If you don't want to do your child hair every damn morning, get that shit braided. Go find Shanique one of them down the street um, or next door somewhere. They know how to braid hair. They probably braid your child hair for about 10 to 15 $20 and won't have no problems doing it because they're trying to get a little come up. Go get your child hair braided so their hair can grow and be cute and everything. You know, would you just get the girl hair braided and put some little cute little Venus and Serena beads on the ends and call it a day. But you, oh, you have to get on my nerves. Child just seriously be looking rough. Rough. Y'all looking like the Jetsons and y'all childs be looking like the damn Flintstones. Just two millennia apart. I don't understand it. Okay. And in case you don't know if you one of these mothers, let me let me tell you how to identify if you're one of them. When it's dinner time, if you over there eating the steak, you know, you eating the filet mignon, baked potato, salad, nice juicy salad with, um, you know, some wonderful Hidden Valley Ranch dressing because, you know, that's the expensive shit. Okay, and you got your nice A and one steak sauce and a glass of champagne, and your daughter is and your daughter and your son over there eating oodles and noodles. That's the how you know that you want these damn uh, mothers. I'm talking about. Okay, you also know if you want these mothers if you riding around with Gucci, Louis, Prada, whoever else, and your child whole wardrobe that came out of rainbows. Bitch, you one of them mothers. If your child shopping at Rainbow, bitch, you shopping at Rainbows too. If you shopping at Louis, Gucci, and Prada, and all the rest of them bitches, then your child needs to be dressed up and dolled up just like you. Now, I'm not saying that it's, it's, it's wrong for you to do something for yourself every now and then. But truth of the matter is, once you have that child, it's no more self. It's, it's a we. It's a team. So, your team should be looking like the captain. And bitch, you the captain. And your damn team, a.k.a. your kids, need to be looking like you. 
Okay, y'all ain't Destiny Child, and you ain't from you ain't Beyonce. You ain't gonna have your children out here looking like Latoya and Latavia and Farrah. Ooh, you girls be getting on my damn nerves. I just don't understand that you can spend fifty five, a hundred. No hell, the expensive weed that's like two hundred, two hundred dollars for like two packs and some on Virgin Remy and Malaysia hair. But you can't even spend ten or fifteen dollars. For the neighborhood hairdresser. And every neighborhood got the neighborhood hairdresser. There's somebody over there that's doing hair on the low low. And you can't even get that person $20 to braid your child. Hell, but you can go and spend $200 on some weed. You sit there. You bitches sit there and do y'all hair. Or y'all do your own damn hair. Be sitting there doing y'all goddamn hair all night. Instead of cooking for your damn child. Or making sure your child okay. You 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 girls. And it be y'all mothers. And then y'all be wondering why the guys be wanting not wanting to pay child support. Now, well, you know, sometimes some of you dudes just be low down and goddamn dirty. But, you know, that's not the point of this video. However, your ass should not be using the damn child support checks for you to come up, bitch. The child support check is for the child to to child to financially feel like the father and the mother never split up. That's what child support is supposed to be. So therefore uh, Ooh. Therefore, that money needs to be going to the child. Now, I'm not saying you can't use the child's support money to pay to pay some bills, the light bill, the electric bill, the water bill, and get your child something too. Because that's who truly, that's who it's for. That's why it's called child support. Okay? And you bitches be taking the child support, get y'all child Take them to the candy lady and get them two bags of chips and then your ass is off to the nearest club. You hoes be at the damn club throwing up 10s and 20s up there twerking all day making sure you got your twerk outfit from downtown or wherever from H&M you hoes because now you hoes is into H&M and Forever 21 in West Seal and stuff. You know you hoes and found out about that for the last couple of years. So now y'all all on that now. So you can go and spend forty and fifty dollars to get your Turk team outfit on, so you can be at the club Saturday when you go leave your children at your grandma house, cause that's the only goddamn time they probably eat a meal that's other than oodles and noodles. Cause you be, ooh, ooh, I'm just I'm tired of mothers doing that. If you wanna be, if you wanna just look out for yourself, then bitch, you shouldn't have had the child. Okay, if you gonna lay down and do it, you need to get up and take care of it. And that's just how I feel. Like I said, there's no way in the world your child, you and your child should be getting on the goddamn the bus, walking around wherever together, and your child looks like ooh goddamn it, and you looking like supermodel of the world, RuPaul and everybody else. That's ridiculous. You bitches need to get it together. You damn baby mamas. Stop using up the baby daddies of child support checks to support your twerking funds. You twerking helpers. And go on and go over there and take care of y'all goddamn child. Pissing me off. But anyway. Next week I'm probably going to be doing like I said. I'm probably going to start doing the basketball wise reviews. Because Tammy and, and Evelyn. You know Evelyn supposedly um got her life fixed by Iyanla Van Zandt. But you know, exactly. So her ass probably gonna be cutting up, and, and I saw her get Susie, aka Floozy. I cannot stand Susie ass. But anyway, so I'm probably gonna be doing that. I done missed most of the catfish this season, so I'm not gonna even jump into the catfish reviews. And yeah, and I'm be doing random. Um, you know, I think I want to do a little couple segments on other people's fashions. You know, I'm fascinated by people. Who dress differently. So I might do a couple of interviews with a couple of people who I think are very fashionable. And that's it. So I will see you guys later. Bye.